What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great comic book day. It's Wednesday. It's AEW Wrestling Day. Everything's great on Wednesday. I went and I've got my stack of books that I got to show. We got back issues. We got modern books. We got it all. So, uh, you know how we do it here. We're going to get to a question. Couple books, question, couple books. Because I got to answer these questions. Uh... And if you got any questions for the show, leave them down below or leave them on IG and I'll get to them because you guys make the show. And uh, first, let's give a couple of shout outs. Uh, the Comic Vet, he's got a show coming on tonight. I really like to watch it on Wednesday night. Uh, he always shows uh, pickups from him and people from around the world. So check out the Comic Vet tonight. If you're not subscribed to the Comic Vet, subscribe to the Comic Vet. And one of the guys who have on the show is S. Vaughn 82. Scotty's a great guy. He's a local Tennessean guy. He's in Chattanooga. He's uh, really knowledgeable. He does good interviews. Check out Scotty Vaughn 7, uh, Scotty Vaughn 82. I think it's S. Vaughn 82 on his little handle. Uh, check him out. Uh, if you subscribe to him, subscribe to him because he knows a lot about comic books, man. And anyway, I am your idiot leader, Dope. Welcome to Dope Comics. Uh, we're chilling like a villain, still in the ceiling. We're rocking out with our comics. Now we're back like a vertebrae. What can I say? Anyway, let's show some books. Let's talk about what's going on. First person we had earlier, uh, about a, probably 10 days ago, asked me a question. Fort Worth Wally. I take it he's from Texas. He asked me, ever read Spawn? It's dark. Well, you know what? I like dark things, but I don't like Spawn. Uh, I grew up in the 90s. Uh, I really don't really like that 90s art and nothing really to do with that. But uh, I did, because of that question in particular, pick up the 350 50th issue. Uh, thinking People at my comic shop told me this is a good place to jump on. And uh, it wasn't my thing. Like I thought. But the artwork was great. I did like the artwork. That's a cool looking guy. And uh, it just wasn't my thing. I'm not into hell and, and, and like Thor gods and Medusas and all that. I don't know. It just it wasn't my thing. I didn't really understand what was going on. So anyway, there's the first per, first book I picked up. Number 350 of Spawn. First and last. Then next, you know, you got to get Joe Hill's. I mean, Joe Hill. Joe Hill's Wolverton Station. Joe Hill Creep Show. Joe Hill is my man. This is also got my man Michael Walsh on it from Silver Coin. Joe Hill is my man from Basket Full of Heads. Everybody knows, you know, Stephen King's son. Creep Show, one shot. They're all one shots. Let's give this a read and see what we got. I haven't read it yet, but I did read that spawn. And that is another book. You can't beat Superman. Superman 11. I've been waiting on this. He'll blow your damn eyeballs out with them flames. How can you not like Superman? Superman, Superman. Gotta get that Superman. And this is the best cover. I like this hard cardstock cover. I like them flaming eyes. All right. Then I was looking on uh, uh, my comics uh, webpage, and uh, they posted all the new books, and they posted this. And I said, well, that looks pretty interesting. The Crying Boy. I cry. I thought, well, that looks interesting. Look how crazy that cover looks. I've never heard of this little cheap-ass company, Ken Spot. Hey, throw one of them in my box. I'll be by there today to pick that thing up. So they put this in my box, and boy, you know, I had to buy it because, uh, you know, I told them I'd buy it. But anyway, it's sad. I, I ain't going to even read it. I opened it up, and then I cried. Because the interior sucks so bad. It looks like shit. I'm not even going to read it. Looks like something I cry. Looks like something I... I don't know. Looks like a comic book somebody created in high school. You ought to be ashamed of coming up with that great-ass cover and then trying to pass the buck on this woodchuck. I hate it. I'm not even going to read it. No one pissed on it if it's on fire. I don't even care no more. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Ken Sport. What kind of even fucking name is that for a comic book company anyway? Won't be reading that. And we've already did a review on this. If you saw my review on this, it is Hulk 
nine, Hulk number nine, no Nick Klein. Hulk number nine, no Nick Klein. No Nick Klein on Hulk number nine, and I doubt he's on 10. We got Danny Earls on this one. Uh, story's good, art sucks. The story of my life. Then, you know what I found in my store? This is my favorite, one of my favorite reads of all time. This this is John Lee's, it's Alex Cormack. It is the original sync story. This story, I've got all the floppies. I love sync. Uh, Glasgow's finest. Sink Hill is amazing. If you guys don't know about Comic Tribe and Sink Hill, Sink Hill is one of the places you do not want to live in the world. There's a lots of violence in Sink Hill, and it's all in this book. It's a bunch of one shots, but they're all tied together by one thing. They all happen in the same town. Sink Hill. Uh, we had a spinoff called Dig. Um, there's another another uh, spinoff coming this year. Uh, but this right here is the original sync. This is the first five issues. There's a number two that I got to pick up. Love it because now I don't have to read my floppies. This has got the great artwork inside of it. This is uh, the man. If you've never seen Alex Cormack's artwork, I mean... You just don't know, but Alex Cormack, this guy here, and these guys behind him, this is a dickhead gang. They wear condoms on their head. I know it's kind of weird, but they're called the dickheads. And uh, it's really a good book. It's got all kinds of great artwork. Sink's really bloody stuff. Uh, if you ain't read Sink and you're into, into horror, it's what you need to read. And this one comes with this little thing you can download. And it goes along with your reading experience. And you're supposed to listen to this music while you read this book. I'm telling you, they think of everything. But sink, get you some. Love that. Also, pick this trade up that came out this week. And let me tell you, this sink trade didn't cost hardly any money. It was cheap. And it was just like the image trade. I just got this Geiger too. Love Geiger. Got all the floppies. This is one through six. And... The trade costs nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Plus, it's twenty percent off trades at my at my LCS. So I get like eight bucks for this thing. I mean, that's like eight bucks for six issues. I love trades. Uh, great book. Now I don't have to get my floppies. Love some Geiger. Wow, pow! Going to read that. And of course, he's got the great artwork. We know all about the artwork. Beautiful book. Beautiful stuff. And uh, then we got some some back. Oh man, I've been I've been forgetting about the questions. Now I'm behind them with questions. How many times have I done this shit in my life? Uh, Bobby Bone sixty six, female silverback gorilla versus Brock Lesnar. I'm going silverback gorilla. It's still a silverback. I know it's not as big as a, a male silverback, and I know Brock Lesnar looks like a silverback. But you know what? Brock Lesnar does not have the strength of a silverback. He's big. And he'd crush my head like a grape, but uh, he can't compete with a fucking silverback gorilla, even if it is a female. So I'm going to go silverback gorilla to destroy Brock Lesnar in a UFC cage. And just like that, we're on back bends, baby. And this is one of the coolest Ghost Rider covers of all time. This is Ghost Rider 6. I never really appreciated this cover until I got it in my hands. You know I'm a Hulk guy. You know I'm a Ghost Rider guy. But look at that transformation, boy, into the ghost. <laughs> right up. Look at that. The transformation. Yeah. That's a beautiful book. Everybody should have this in the collection. It is number six. Great book. Bernie Wrightson. Check that out. Bernie Wrightson. This is Master of the Macabre. Master of the Macabre. Beautiful book, beautiful art, I'm sure. Bernie Wrightson. I bought this. I guess it's a cover by. I'll try reading it, but it's probably not going to be that good of a story. But got that Frankenstein looking cover on there. Yeah. Check that out because it was horror. And we got the Phantom Class of 79. Ghost. This one came from uh, my comic shop. This uh, They say it's a, uh, let's see. They're going to say it's a GD. It's a good condition. We got this uh, Phantom Class of six, 76 on here. They're all excited. Somebody must have died in their class because uh, he's back. So 
Good book to add to my ghost run. A lot of people always talk about, you know, uh, Witching Hour or House of Secrets, House of Mystery. Don't forget about the ghost run, baby. Ghost run. Can you imagine living back in these days in the 70s? Whenever you could go to the D.C., you go and you go go to go buy some DC comics, and you go to the store, and every week it's either Ghost, Witch and Hour, uh, House of Secrets, House of Mystery, Sinister House. I mean, there's so many good titles out in horror back in the day of DC. And then we got that Tomb of Dracula 34, beautiful cover. We got these old English cops. They don't know, but he is behind you. He is behind you. Look at that. They're ready for Freddy, but they don't know. He's coming. He's coming hard. Number 34. That's what that is. And uh, then we got another ghost. Ghost number 16. Classic cover. Is that a boat? Is that a giant insect? Is that some kind of a woolly monster? What is that coming? Is that a woogalar? I don't know what it is. But they're in their boat. It's foggy as hell. It's right up there. Ghost in the Supernatural. This is a uh, number 16. So let's get to another question because I'm running out of books. Uh, Andy Attic. No, Andy. What the hell? Andy R88 says uh, Ninja versus Barbarian. Ninja. Skill over brawn. I mean, a ninja is is. A trained assassin. I mean, he probably just cut the barbarian's throat when he went to sleep. Because, you know, he don't believe in using a lot of effort. He'll sneak in the barbarian's hut when he's asleep at night, drinking on that juice, and just cut his throat. Now, if it's a fight, hand-to-hand -hand combat, maybe the barbarian, if he can get his hands on the ninja. But if the ninja is doing his thing, he's, he's, he's a stealth assassin. He's going to hide out, and he's going to kill the barbarian when the barbarian goes outside of his hut to pee or something. He's going to take that blowgun and hit that barbarian right in the dick with a poison dart. I mean, you don't hear about that all the time, but that's the way ninjas used to do it. They'd shoot barbarians in the dick with a poison dart right in the dick. Ah. Anyway, next we got a Spider-Man. What is this? We got more of these electric companies. I pick them up every time I see them because they're hard to find. This is number 44, and I don't know who this guy is. He's called Dr. Time. Anytime, if, if we get a Marvel movie and Dr. Time's in it, just hang it up. The MCU is dead. They're running with Dr. Time. So, I don't know about that. And the last book for today is uh, Electric Company number 35. We got Sheena. Uh, looks like on the uh, uh, Golden Gate Bridge, riding an elephant, and is kicking Spidey's ass. Anyway, just like that, we're under 13 minutes. Don't forget to watch Wrestling Tonight. Don't forget to watch Comic Vet Tonight. Check out the sexy, sweet Scotty Vaughn 82. And anyway, until the next time, read your comics.